Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be <clears throat> attempting to install Windows 8 onto this low end HP uh, Pavilion DV2000 something, something, something. Uh, but as you can see, it currently has Windows Vista on it and got a replacement hard drive here to install Windows 8 onto. I've burned uh, an x86 version onto this DVD and yeah, let's just get started. So I'm going to shut it down here, uh, insert the DVD. Shutting down. I'll be back once uh, this new hard drive is installed. So, here we go. So, the hard drive has been installed. I left the old one in its bracket because, well, this uh, hard drive that I just installed is not going to be a temporary replacement. Just, just installing it so that I can install Windows 8. And to be specific, this is Windows 8.1 x86, so... So now it's booting into the DVD. Okay, so it's inside uh, the Windows 8 is set up, and let's just uh, see if our new hard drive is detected, and product key. Uh, so uh, I need to look for a product key. Well, good thing I have the internet here uh, to help me. Now, in order to uh, bypass this screen, I just searched up a random uh, Windows 8.1 product key, and then it lets me pass this screen. So let me go ahead and get this product key in here so that we can get past this screen. Okay, so finally found the product key that worked. And I was able to bypass this screen here. And here we go. Let's erase this hard drive of its contents. 
and click next. Now can continue with the setup. So I'm gonna let it install and I'll be back. Okay, so just got back down here, uh, downstairs, and it looks like it's rebooting uh, into the OOBE setup. Just to check that. Don't need that anymore. So, looks like it's rebooting now. And it's actually running it uh, pretty well, it seems. So there we go. Uh, just put a uh, Elmo, ah, Elmo PC, so uh, it already has the Wi-Fi uh, driver installed, which is nice, I'm going to put my name there, Now it's going to go through all of this junk. So, it's going to take a little while, so I'll be back. Okay, so, here we are at the desktop. So, there it is. I don't think we have the video driver installed. So, let's go to... Computer and yeah, computer properties. So, of course, Windows is not activated yet because we're not connected to the internet or stuff. So, yeah, video controller here is not installed. But overall, it's running Windows 8.1 pretty well. I'm going to connect to my wireless network here. Now, network. Uh, why not? So, there we go. Uh, internet's connected to the internet. And let's go t to Internet Explorer here. Uh, download Firefox. Go to settings. So... <clears throat> Activate Windows. So, yeah, Windows is not activated. That's fine. So, let's, let's open some apps. 
And of course, uh, since it does not have the video driver, some of the animations are a little bit laggy. But, it's pretty fast. Especially for this old HP laptop. Now, this HP laptop is a special edition, but it's basically, to me, just a glorified version of the uh, non-special edition version, which is, you know, just looks like any other HP laptop from the time running Windows Vista. So, it's basically the same experience to me at least. That one, this one has a Centrino, Intel Centrino, but let's see what processor this has. Let's see. So it has a Core 2 Duo, yeah. Uh, my mom's HP laptop, I think, had a Core, also had a Core 2 Duo or something, or a Pentium. So, or a Core Duo, I'm not sure. Some, like some Intel Core. So, 4 gigabytes of RAM. So, 32-bit uh, operating system, of course. Uh, you know, this computer does support X8, uh, X64 operating systems. Can do, go down to some apps here. Can launch launch some programs here. Can open the recycle bin. So, I to me Windows eight point one is the last good operating system made ever made because it actually works well on hard disks. Uh, early versions of Windows ten also. Uh, also work pretty well. Modern versions of Windows 10 and uh, Windows 11 do not perform well on hard disks. So that's why I don't use uh, PCs anymore with hard disks. But so yeah, it runs pretty well. Unlike you know, compute. If this was running Windows 10, it would run pretty bad I think. A modern version of Windows 10 would just not work on here. And I just just noticed that the keyboard here is popping up a little bit. That's fine. Anyways runs pretty pretty well, pretty usable I think for basic word processing on online or and stuff. So if you want a HP laptop, I guess you could buy this one and install Windows 8.1 on it. Or install an SSD and install Windows 10. A lot of these older laptops, a lot of people throw them away because they're old, but you can still find a lot of use out of these. If you just put an SSD inside and upgrade the RAM, install a modern operating system, it becomes very usable. Just People want newer technology and they throw these ones in the trash. This one was saved from the trash and, well, gets to live on in my house. So, let's give it a test to see if it'll boot back up and to uh, Windows Vista here. So. So Looks like it is working. Just a uh, one, two, three, four. Oh. 
One, two, three, four. There we go. Now this computer was supposed to come with Vista Ultimate, but I installed Home Premium because <laughs> that's what I had on hand. So I used some recovery disks for my other from my other HP laptop that I made or that that my parents made when they got their HP laptop. Uh, so I used those to restore on that laptop, and I just put the hard drive in here and. Well, there we go. Now I have all the HP OEM stuff and OEM activation, which is pretty nice. But I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in next week's video.